This week we celebrate the 4th of July and some of you might do that with fireworks and with that comes an increase in injuries. Drew Cosgray is on your side tonight with how you can stay safe while celebrating. It's that time of year for fireworks, which also means that time of year for injuries. It's just not meant to be held at all. Annalee McPhillamy has run a TNT firework tent the last 10 summers and has heard of plenty of horror stories, including such incidents as the one that happened with NFL player Jason Pierre Paul. And he literally lost two fingers, two or three fingers from it. Okay. And Annalee herself has been burned. For me, it was mostly bottle rockets. We checked in with physician Jimmy Dorado, who sees these types of injuries every year around this time. Typically, these injuries are mostly affected with the hands and the fingers, um, followed by the face and the head, and then lastly, but typically most importantly, the eyes. Last year, plenty of people went to the ER for firework-related injuries with a staggering number going in for burns. About 42% are burn injuries. And in some cases, even worse. So last year was eight deaths with firework-related injuries, mm -hmm. okay? And a total of uh, 9,700, I believe, cases um, nationwide. With the 4th of July being a great time for business for McPhillamy, one thing is important above all when buying these fireworks. The, the products are great, they're wonderful, and we want people to have a really good time, but not at the detriment of injuring yourself. Reporting in Jacksonville, Drew Cosgray, First Coast News, on your side.